Before we carry on, I just need to let you know very quickly that this video is brought to you by Elite Space and Guitar Strings. We're also Tutorful partners. Tutorful are one of the biggest and most established tutoring companies in the UK for both online tuition and face-to-face -face tuition across all subjects, of course, and Tommen. As always, you can support the channel by using the links in the description. All right, so I'd recently been talking to a student who had been involved in a band situation at school. This was a school band, not a friend band at school it was an official thing with a very high profile ending they were going to play a, a venue a really nice venue here in the uk and the student was really looking forward to performing on this you know really really big stage however the student was told that uh, his services were no longer required and that they were going to replace him with another another student obviously my student was extremely disappointed and he came to me in our lesson time and told me what had happened and showed me the email and that kind of thing now as a rule whenever a student finds themselves in any kind of tricky position like this as long as it falls within the the remit of of what we do musically speaking of course although well, sometimes you know as a teacher you do get asked about other things i will always talk to a student and work through the particular issue now whilst we may have spent some time discussing this which could have been time spent on the instrument of their choice the drums in this instance i really really think that it's a worthwhile learning experience and in fact it's equal to any kind of learning experience that we would have had on the kit to talk through and just have a a little bit of a chat and an analyze of this situation now whether this student realized this or not they had probably learned one of the most important lessons that any musician in particular can learn we're involved in a hugely hugely competitive environment massively competitive possibly one of the most competitive environments on the face of on the face of the planet naturally for every one person who gets to sit behind the drums or gets to play the guitar or the bass or the keys or whatever it happens to be depending on how high profile the show is or whatever there's going to be multitudes of people who have been disappointed not to be able to do that it's an absolute fundamental in terms of what we do as musicians it's not easy but one of the things that we have to get our head around earlier on is that we have to get used to the idea that we're not always going to make the grade it's not always going to just happen for us and sometimes there are these disappointments that come and go and we just have to take it on the chin and carry on move forward one of the things that i would always say is that the most important thing here is not that any student or any musician or anyone because this is broader this is a broader topic than just my particular student it's not about whether you got the gig or not it's about your attitude after so one of the things that i said to my student is look you need to take this energy this disappointment take it with you and make sure that next time you're in a much much better position to to be that person that keeps hold of that gig okay so one of the most important things that we can do is approach this kind of issue with the most positive mindset that we can and for me the most positive way to approach this and any kind of disappointment and you can broaden this out to stuff generally in life if you like is just to pick yourself up and then take the disappointment that you're feeling in this moment in time and use it to your advantage and ultimately turn it into a positive thing right turn that disappointment into positivity by ensuring that next time these opportunities come about you're going to be in a much 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 better place to take advantage of them and one of the ways that we can do this is by very very simply practicing more we can get behind our instrument we can dedicate ourselves more we can push our abilities further we can do everything that we can do in terms of making sure that next time an opportunity arises like this we're in a much 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 better position to make the most of it one of the stories that i tell my students is that when i was completing my ba i had a slight technical issue with one of my prior submissions which meant that despite the fact that i've done all of the work involved and more so because of a technical hitch with with my website the video the work that i'd done wouldn't display so it was no fault of mine but it was also not technically fault of the university that i was at either so i was in a very very strange position where i had my work capped because as far as they were concerned right i hadn't done the work of course i had right so it's a slightly unfair situation but nonetheless i accepted it for what it was now at that time i could have capitulated i could have just said 
you know, I'm done, that's it. I'm so frustrated, so angry by the situation. I'm not gonna make the effort that I need to make in order to make amends. Did I do that? No, of course I didn't. What I did was I worked even harder to make up the shortfall, to the point that when my final assessor for my final work wrote up the comments and all the kind of things that you get the feedback from your submissions, they stated that I had done over three times the amount of work that was necessary in order to complete that particular submission. Not only had I done over three times the amount of work necessary, but the tutor had also said that I couldn't possibly have fitted the amount of work that I'd done into my written element of the final submission, because it simply the word count simply wasn't enough to fully explain everything that I had done for my assessment. So taking that negative situation where I felt extremely frustrated by everything that had happened, I didn't go away and sulk. I didn't stamp my feet or have a temper tantrum or any of those things. I made a firm decision to turn this thing around and work as hard as I could work in order to make sure that the end result was the end result that I wanted. When I went into education in that regard, I wanted a first with honours. Nothing else was gonna be acceptable. If I'd have come out with a 2-1 or a 2-2, for me personally, that would have been a, as the kids would say, epic fail. And in doing this work, I did finally manage to recover the lost points to get myself in and up and got myself my first with honours, right? But it didn't come without a huge amount of hard work. And that's what you gotta do. If you want any situation to go your way, you have to work hard, take your responsibility seriously, be conscientious and do everything that you can do to ensure that situations turn out the way that you want them to turn out, right? There you go. That's the kind of situation that I find myself in regularly with students. Those are the kind of conversations that I find myself having because I want my students to understand the real world. I want them to understand that things aren't necessarily always going to go their way. And I want them to also understand that it's not the end of the world. There's things that you can do just because something sets you back. That's all it is. It's a setback. You can still pick yourself up and move forward and get to be where you want to be. What do you think? Feel free to leave likes and comments. YouTube's tough for subscriptions at the moment, wow. But I don't mind. I would say these things anyway. Subscribe or not, it's absolutely fine. Be sure to drop back, see us again real soon. I have been The White Dog and goodbye.